I mean, I feel like after I shoot my Eternal, I'll want to continue playing DVD. Okay, well, that's pretty confident, I guess. So a few months ago, the Skull Merchant arrived to Dead by Daylight, and she almost immediately became one of the most hated and controversial characters that we had seen in years. And one of the reasons why people hated to play against this character is not necessarily because she was strong in Chase, she definitely could not keep up with other characters like Nurse or Blight, but because she had an unrivaled ability to defend gens. By placing drones strategically on the final 3 gen and using certain perks to support it, doing gens against this killer was essentially essentially impossible. It was very, very difficult. In fact, one of my first games that I played against Cold Merchant went on for like 40 minutes until we all bled out on the ground. It was very, very unpleasant. And the developers shortly after made some adjustments to try to combat this playstyle and also nerf certain perks really, really hard to make sure that it wasn't as viable. But they apparently didn't do enough because the Skull Merchant idea of holding three gens and stalling them forever is still very, very viable. And among all of the people that do this, for some reason, there is one of them in particular that has mastered it. His name is CM9i, and in this Twitter post of his, you can see that he defeated a group of survivors with four brand new parts, which is very impressive. And then he proudly declared that playing the Skull Merchant as a chase killer is a waste of time, and that she should solely be played as a 3-gen defense killer. And he compared doing this to playing chess. Now, I do think that this was a subtle troll, but it didn't matter. The community ate it up. Lots of copy passes emerged of people beating survivors with Skull Merchant and saying things like, oh, I'm just playing chess, I'm just better, I'm smarter than all of you. And I think all of this must have emboldened CM9, especially if it was a troll because a few days later he made this other post where seemingly out of nowhere he called out Nightlight for being bad. Nightlight is one of the top competitive players in Dead by Daylight, in my opinion one of the best players in this game period, uh, but he just called him out for being bad. Nightlight obviously was upset and responded, and later CM9 insinuated that if he played against Nightlight's team, Team Eternal, again one of the best teams in the world, if not the best team in the world, he would probably win. So as a result, Team Eternal got together and they arranged a private match to see who would win. On one hand, the best survivor team in the world. On the other, the Skull Merchant with a full-on build to hold on a 3-gen. And oh my god. Oh my god. You need to see this. All right, the game seems to be starting. It seems like Eternal is gonna follow roughly the competitive rules of running one item on each survivor that is different and not repeating perks. We've also had a quick glimpse at our Skull Merchant's build and it is a, frankly, a three-gen stalling build with a lot of um, add-ons to make it difficult to be in one area. We got the brown noise generator, which will make survivors oblivious, making it hard to know what's going on. And also the one, the shotgun speakers, that makes the skill checks really, really tricky. We do have two perks as well to make the skill checks on gens uh, a bit of a concern. Now, this is extremely, extremely effective, at least from what I've seen in public matches, but we are dealing with Team Eternal, which might as well be the best team in the world. It might as well be the apex of what survivors can possibly do. And they also have a reputation for being very um, altruistic and getting in each other's ways to really, really make it to the end game and come with very creative ways to make that. We have only one hatch offering to make sure that the hatch spawns always a check and we are playing in Torment Creek, which is a middle of the way farm map. Let's have a go. Uh, interesting, uh, our killer is actually playing with music in the background. He's that confident. Uh, main building um, breakable wall needs to get deleted at some point. A 3-gen, a really, really tight 3-gen has already spawned around here. And it seems like our killer is already... Yeah, yeah, it seems like our killer is already gonna do this. So yeah, as you can see, the first four gens were done with basically no resistance because our killer was focused entirely on defending his three gen. Let's hear exactly what his plan was. I mean, if the match timer runs out, all four survivors get insta-killed. I don't know if you knew that. After an hour, all four survivors just die. Okay, so here's the thing. I have never played a game for an hour. I have never seen that, but... Our friend, the Skull Merchant player, he has. I'm sure it's not a surprise to you. And he said 
that if they disc if the hour happens, they all automatically show up as dead. Yeah, I've heard about that, but I, I'm not sure if that works on custom matches though. Oh. But yeah, in public matches, they, that totally happens. Uh, oh, I've seen it. really? So, okay, so what do you think is going to happen if after one hour, they don't die? What if there's no, what if there's no one hour limit on custom matches? Maybe there's yeah. not. It's another one. Maybe, there's, yeah, that's my question. I, I have no clue. Oh my God. Okay. Nylight is here. Just yeah, to take yeah. I, I think I think we're starting to see the start of their strategy. So Nightlight stays out of the gen to be the body blocker. Yep. Probably has Metal of Man or whatever, or at least you know could consider it. And then these two do this gen, and now we're seeing it. Look at that. Ooh, Ooh that's that's like um, almost fifty, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that might be the one strat. Oh my god. That's good. Look how aggressive they are on that. Oh my god. Oh, they're starting to do it. Oh my god. 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 Here they come. Oh, this, 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 is, this is getting done. That's, <laughs> wait, it's, it's, it's over 50%. Because it's, it's, it's over 50 because you see three pistons. Okay, watch out because this eruption would be really, really bad. He's going to get it. He's going to get it. But can he pick but up on hook? The other side. Yeah, now they're doing the other one. He sees the aura from eruption, and he sees that the Suarez are That's 100%. That's one hook stage, baby! Alright, so we are roughly... <laughs> That's one hook stage! Like 20 minutes into the game, and first hook happened. <gasps> oh, blast mine! The blast mine! Whoa. The blast mine! That actually gives so much time. Keep in mind, though, if they keep it's going down, they will start to the bleed out on the ground. The this is super tracker. exciting, though. Oh, here they come. Oh, they missed the overcharge. Oh, that's a minus, minus 15 Dude. or so. Oh, that's super bad. Oh, Dan used that hard. I feel like they developed the strategy and now the killer yeah. has adapted to it. Now they need to like perfect the strategy. And yeah, we, exactly. might, we might just see the end of this match for one hour. All right, so I'm pretty sure that at this point we are reaching the 30 minute mark. I'm pretty sure. Maybe a little bit south of that. Maybe about 26. I've lost count. Yeah, me too. This could be a hook. And this would be the second hook of the game. And the second hook on Dan. Which means that it's going to be GG for Dan if he gets caught again. And keep in mind, the killer constantly keeps getting little, little speed boosts here and there. <gasps> Don't tell me. Don't tell me he's actually oh, going to be no. able to pick up. Oh, no. <gasps> they need someone to put it up. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Dude, dude I, I was so scared for I, a second. I, I, I know. I know. Uh, Dan has been down twice. And if he goes down now and the killer can somehow find 10 seconds to hook, then this will go from almost impossible to straight up impossible. Oh, my. Dude, he's just lugging Zaka again. Yeah, Zaka just chooses to go down as far as possible. Of course, that doesn't really matter. Eruption has infinite range, but it's not up at the moment. So, what's going on? What's going on? And the gen is at nothing. Oh my god, Leo. It, this is crazy. Like, this is Dead by Daylight, by the way. Like, it seems like a completely different game. It doesn't look like DVD at all. I know, dude. I know. It's like a tower defense game. Yeah. <laughs> our, our Skull Merchant is just playing balloons here. Just just, just playing a single player game. Might as well be playing against bots. Oh my lord. I I don't know. I don't dude, know. How much is that game now? All right. The, the one there? How much is it? Uh, um, oh. It's oh, nothing. at nothing. nothing. It's... Oh my... Yeah. Okay, Leo, I'm pretty pretty sure that we're about to reach the 40-minute mark. It seems like now they're starting to to push every single gen at, uh, at the same time. Yeah, I mean, after seeing that pushing on two didn't work, it would seem like pushing on, on all three yeah. seems like the idea. The problem is, eruption and oppression hits all three of them still. Yeah. So... I'm not sure if spreading out is actually going to help them. I don't know either. Like, like, look at this gen. They had a few seconds to work on it. It's actually over 50% very, very, very slightly. It's actually kind of crazy how they did that here. How about this one? Oh, 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 o
Oh, oh, oh. Be it. yeah, miss kill check on the main, and how about the one on the side? Oh, whoa, oh my God. whoa, I almost saw it. the third person move. Oh my God, I actually think survivors are figuring out how to play against this. I think our, our hero needs uh, eruption right now. Uh, he needs to, to yeah, dunk, yeah, 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 yeah. He needs to hit them all three and force them to, to like, the moment they have one person down and one person going to heal them, it's over. So they need to do mm. tiny little bits of progress and never miss a bloody skill check, ever, like, ever. Wow. Wow. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. Just keep working on it very slowly. Oh, look. He doesn't even know where you want to go to! Oh my god! Oh, you... they... I think this is it. This is it. This is are we witnessing it? Are we witnessing it? We're, I think we are. We're... Okay, there's not even that much time left. If, if the game ends at, after one hour, I think they have about 10 or 15 minutes left. No joke. Oh my lord. They're figuring it out. Oh, this gen this is at one... 75 or so. Oh. oh, this might be it. I think, I think this is it, Ots. No way. Are we witnessing this? Look at this. Yeah. Look at this. He's having a hard time keeping up. Oh, okay, oppression of cooldown, though. This could this could be bad. This could be bad. He doesn't even try to go for the down on someone, which is a bit surprising. But oh, even if he, even if he did, three people on one gen. Oh, a missed skill check from oppression. That's okay. He's still going to have to worry about the main gen getting done. This gen is visibly shaken from that, but he has to literally worry about all of them. This gen now also! Uh, oh, I, I, having, I, on the three pistons. Whoa, this is so difficult. This is so difficult. Really our hero needs eruption right now. He needs to down someone. Yeah, but they are he needs to down someone and reset all of them. And, and I mean, ideally kill Dan, but you can clearly yeah. tell that when all of the harbits are going on at once, it's actually a little bit difficult. Uh, so I, don't, I don't think our chess grandmaster here was ready for the end game. Okay. So oh, I was already Okay, eruption. eruption That's now. bad. That's bad. But That's no, kind of bad. Oh, yeah. This is this is terrible because now they have to Okay, they, they need to they need to go and touch the gents. Maybe even more important than anything else. We saw a breakthrough. We saw a breakthrough. Something oh, great was God, happening. Oh, look there. They're green the gen. They're green the gen. They're not even trying to pick up they're Nightlight. Not, no. no. Oh. oh. Okay. 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 I think we saw a missed skill check from Overcharge. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. All right, Nightlight back up. They lost a little bit of momentum there, but they had something amazing going. I wonder if they're gonna somehow manage to keep it up. They're almost trying to... They're almost like getting into the pattern here. Dude, I'm loving the movement of the these terrors. It's, it's incredible. Help? It's incredible. Keep in mind, they don't hear terror radius because they're constantly affected by the green oh, add-on. And they, and they don't always really see the killer all that well. And yet they're managing to tap these three gens like in almost perfect synchrony. Knowing yeah. where to place two people, knowing how to cover for their weakness. This is actually pretty insane. Oppression cooldown now actually starts to hurt a little bit because uh, we're not getting it quite yet. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Who do we go for? Who do we go for? The killer's looking for killer instance like it's a lesion at the start of the game. <laughs> and not knowing which one to go for. And the moment one gen is killed. Yeah, oh. once it once gets gated, oh, the survivors are on ready. Oh, on this ready. is insane. This is insane. This is insane. All right, the Mr. Skill check. Uh, I imagine it's really not that easy. What's this gen looking like? <gasps> oh, oh, whoa, this could be a really oh, momentous... Man moment <sighs> this is like the sixth yeah i know Not right <gasps> and they're working on it so hard and they're still in the back uh, it's it's almost like they somehow have five survivors i don't know how they're doing this yeah. well injured and ooh, okay 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 uh reset that this gen is actually so progress they're almost pushing them all at once the fourth piston. this is insane how we've seen the same thing happen like 20 times now and and how is this so exciting still Okay. All right. Look at the survivors, dude. They are moving. Dude, like, like, it's like, have you seen those videos of documentaries of like one shark uh, diving yeah, into, yeah. into a group of fish and they all yeah. spread out evenly? It's the same. No matter where he goes, survivors just move. He's trying to make himself erratic and survivors still don't go down. That gen's still regressing, but the other two are slowly being touched. Ah, uh, this survivor! This survivor's not getting a call out! Is he finishing the gen? No, he's not! <gasps> hold your breath, hold your breath! Nice spray burst into oh, the window! That was super, super smart! It actually kind of yeah, triggered yeah. the killer into making a mistake! Does the last gen get pulled? Oh. <gasps> no, it doesn't! No, it doesn't! 
No, it it's doesn't. Uh, that gen is. is a... <gasps> wait, wait, Dan is here and he doesn't have help. They finished last gen. Oh! They finished last gen. It is done. It is, it. it is done. It is done. It is done. Surely this is going downhill here. They oh my goodness! After how long? After fifty minutes or oh so of gameplay, the game is over. All right, so I really don't know if there's generally anything here left for our Skull Merchant to hang on to. Uh, now that there's two Exegates, uh, there's just simply nothing you can defend. He doesn't even try to camp someone on the hook. I mean, Dan, to be fair, is killable here if he gets caught. But does he get caught? He does not get caught. Um, it seems like at most one person might die, especially if we go to basement or something. Uh, but yeah, you cannot place drones on a survivor on the hook. That's why we didn't see hooks very often throughout the game. So now there's nothing preventing the survivors, as far as I understand it, from coming, taking multiple hits, and getting Nightlight out. Will they try to do that, or will they take the three man out? We're about to see. Is the killer trying? Is the killer trying to end the game? Does he think an hour is about to happen? There's no way. The survivors did a textbook rescue. Uh, Adam has... Is it starting to look not okay? Yeah, definitely not. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they've definitely earned it those two bucks. Okay. Oh my goodness. Checkmate! <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm sorry. I tried to be impartial in this, but that is possibly the best ending this could have had. Honestly. All right. So thank you so much for joining for this quick post-match interview, Team Eternal. Uh, and hence, I don't know why he's here, but I guess he's a cheerleader. Uh, how are you guys feeling? Exhausted. Uh, exhausted. Exhausted. <laughs> Very exhausted. You guys, you guys, feel, it feels like you tried like different strategy yeah. uh, and, and had yeah, to switch to things around. Things. Yeah, we are basically figuring out everything mid-game. Yeah, because we never practiced versus this killer or never played versus him. Mm -hmm. And we were just like, okay, we try different stuff. And then at one point you're like trying to three-man stack a gen and while Zaka is a spring burst. But mm -hmm. one mistake just makes us lose everything. So at one point you just decide like, do three gens at the same time. Make me like go to main because I have yeah. Rezi and I have DH and made for this. Mm -hmm. So I'm fine. Mm -hmm. And two people stuck with Proof and Zaka with Primbers, and that was it. And that was it. What was the part that was most difficult about this? Was it the um, was it the fact that he didn't have a terror radius because you were constantly oblivious? Was no, it like worrying not. about no. worrying about the timer? What was it? The, the most difficult part was the six, skill six. fucking uh, the skill six. Overcharge, the skill six. overcharge and the, the all oppression. Yeah, you got you guys have you guys had like the very difficult skill checks thanks to the yellow auto and stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. so I, I have to ask. He kept count of the skill checks as the match was going on, and I think he counted like 40 missed skill checks. How many did you successfully hit? More often than not, or...? No, no, we probably no, no less, less often, but the, yeah, but good. we have a strategy to just look at the middle of the screen, mm -hmm. and we keep we keep perfect comms so we know every time if he's coming to us or going wow. to main or 12. I'm not gonna lie, I wanted to be completely impartial going into this, but I think 10 minutes into it, I was already rooting for you guys. <laughs> I was really hoping yeah. that you would make it because I could not let that playstyle somehow triumph over you guys. I was watching with my friend Leon and it was really, really exciting. Uh, congrats on an incredible performance. And thank you. Thank you for uh, living out to the task and for the very entertaining 45 minutes of gameplay. <laughs>